Hi guys, Happy New Year. It's been several weeks. I'm doing my best. I know it's been really crazy over the holidays and everything, but I am here to show you a big collective haul for makeup and beauty items. Um, so this is over a couple weeks, a um, couple of Christmas items. Um, it's mostly pretty much drugstore stuff, and I'm just going to get right into it. All right, the first items I'm going to show you were from the CVS sale that they had with the um, little stickers of either 50% off or 75% off. All right, I'll just start off with some um, concealer, and this is the Revlon Age Defying Concealer. It has like the little foam brush there, 75% off. Um, this is color Light Pale. Um, I need the lightest usually in every shade that I can find. Um, this is just has that simple brush end right there. And I basically just use this underneath my eyes for the dark circles and then any other spots that I need to um, fix up. And it's, it, I kind of chuckle at this. It says it has DNA advantage. Um, not sure what that means. I guess it has something to do with uh, preventing your skin from aging, I guess, since it's an age-defying line. I picked this up because I ran out of the current concealer I was using, so I figured I'd try this at 75% off. All right, the next item is a lipstick. Um, again, 75% off. This is Revlon, and it is the Colorstay Mineral Glaze Mineral Lip Glaze. And this is color Eternal Blossom. So it's just kind of a pretty pale pink. And oh, it has the same applicator. I haven't actually tried this out yet, but it's um, just a nice pale, very pale color, pinkish color there. All right, the next couple items are some nail polish items. What a surprise. Um, Sally Hansen Nail Art Pens. I had one of these, a red one, that I got in a few years ago. And it, it actually works really well, even though I don't really use it that often. Um, but when I saw it at 75% off, I couldn't pass it up. So I got the basic black color. And then I, um, this was maybe two weeks ago I found this. And then I was there yesterday getting something else, and I found... Um, another one, the gray, silver color. So these are nice basic colors. They're great for nail art designs. Um, so much easier to use uh, the nail art pens when instead of like the little fine brushes. Um, so these are really good for certain designs. And then I found this absolutely stunning shade from Revlon, 75% off again. Um, this is color Ritzy and is a nice black with lots and lots of chunky glitter. And this is what I ended up wearing on New Year's Eve on my nails. It came out beautiful. Um, I'll insert a picture right here. And it was just gorgeous. And I it actually painted my nails in the car ride to where we were going for New Year's Eve. So um, with this nice chunky glitter, um, it was very forgivable and it was um, relatively easy to do it in the car if you had any kind of like um, plain color, matte color or anything, that, that would be much more difficult to have it come out nice while you're painting your cars, your nails in the car. So gorgeous, gorgeous, sparkly, fun, fun color. And then, of course, I didn't, couldn't pass up a couple other items that were unfortunately not on 75 or 50% off. So the first two polishes are, um, one of them says it's a new shade, the other one doesn't. Um, this, these are both what I'm wearing right now. So this is a gorgeous orchid shade, and it's actually called Orchid, and this is actually the 2014 color of the year. Um, what is it's? Uh, I can't remember exactly what they called it, but it is an orchid shade. Um, this is very, very beautiful, and it is under their top speed line, which I do agree. It dries very quickly, 
Um, the only bad thing is, is that it wears also very quickly because my ends um, pretty much was wearing away after the first day of putting it on. Um, I've had it on for a couple days I actually retouched it up with another coat and um, even the day after it, it still wore off. Um, it might help if you put on a top coat. Half the time I don't have time to do that so I never um, really put on use a top coat but gorgeous gorgeous color. And then the other one which is a new shade um, it is called Hearts of Gold Effects and it is a beautiful shimmery, um, real fine shimmery gold um, sparkle and it has hearts also in it. And it's showing there on my ring finger. This is gorgeous and these two together, um, just in a uh, heads up, perfect, perfect Valentine's Day nail combination. Um, I didn't even think about it until after I put it on, but pink and hearts, shimmer hearts, gorgeous. Definitely try this out for Valentine's Day. All right, one last nail item at CVS at least um, I picked up, and I've been kind of eyeing these things for a while now, and they had one of these on 75% um, clearance, but it was kind of like a not a nice or not one of the nicer looking ones. Um, I wasn't too crazy about the color, um, but this is gorgeous. I mean, gray and pink sparkle. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I haven't tried this out yet, so but I've heard that these are really, really good, and they have good staying power too. So I will definitely be trying this soon. It's probably also another good choice for Valentine's Day nails. All right, another thing I picked up that was not on the clearance section. Um, it's from Rimmel Scandalize, and it is one of those chunky eyeliner colors. Um, this is called Bad Girl Bronze. It's waterproof, which is really nice that I liked. Um, and I was in the market for another brown eyeliner because for some reason they were all, all my brown eyeliners ran out. So um, this is kind of like a lighter brown. Um, I'm not too crazy about the fact that it's a lighter brown and not a, I probably prefer a darker brown, but it's fun, but it's a little shimmery, so um, not totally an everyday look, but it's still nice to use. This is definitely one of my favorite concealers, this uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind with that little sponge tip. Um, I had used one of these, I th actually I think I went through two of them already, um, and it ran out several weeks ago. I never got a new one because I had some others that I want to use up. Um, but I really, really liked it, and um, I picked another one up. I think I had like $6 in register rewards from CVS, so I ended up using it with this one because I got sick of waiting for it to go on sale. So it's $10 normally, and um, which is kind of pricey, but I really, really like it, and it's really, really good concealer. Oh, one other item that I forgot about the, uh, the clearance sale, 75% um, off, was this powder here. And I had never heard of this until I saw Glam Life Guru's video on her CVS clearance store video. Um, she mentioned this in her video and she says she's been loving it. It's a loose face powder um, and it just has like a powder puff inside um, with the little holes. I'm not quite sure. It's been kind of messy trying to figure out how to get this powder on the powder puff, but um, I've been working at it and, and using it, and it's, it's pretty nice. So um, just a very nice silky face powder, and it was 75% off, even though there was no sticker. Um, she warned us saying that a lot of things aren't marked, um, so just check the price. I think it was like $2 and change. So regularly nine dollars so definitely very very nice powder all right so the next couple items are some Christmas items which technically nobody buys me anything for Christmas um, I just kind of bought a couple little things and threw them in my stocking myself um, so this is basically just more items that I bought for myself um, 
The first one is a nail art um, rhinestone collection here. I found this at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, we were there shopping right before Christmas and it was one of those things by the register that they, those, all those little things that they want you to grab as you're checking out. So I, I grabbed it. Um, I think I had that 20% off coupon. So just a whole bunch of different rhinestones in here. I've never actually tried rhinestones for my nail art, um, but I've been wanting to. So I am definitely looking forward to using these and making some nice glitzy designs. All right, so the next item is a sanding block. Uh, I found this at the dollar store. So I figured um, I needed like a new file thing for my nails. So I figured this was a nice to try. And um, I also need something that, that buffed my nails because I have some ridges and, and I guess buffing them, trying to smooth them out a little bit and help them out. All right, the next item, I believe I found this at Target. Um, I think I grabbed it when I was shopping at Black Friday um, with the big line to check out. I guess they wound you through a bunch of the aisles, which again is nice and strategic to have you looking at all these things as you're waiting in line. Um, and it is a three pack of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. And I've never tried these, even though I see them in tons of people's videos. And it comes with the colors of, it doesn't tell you on the package. Um, I believe one of them is the famous milk color, which everybody talks about, which is this white milk, is the white one. Um, this one is strawberry milk, which is a pale pink. And black, which is called black bean, which is just basic black. So, these are nice to join my collection. And then one more item, which I did not buy myself, it was from my mom, is an Essie nail polish, pretty gold, called Penny Talk. So I think that's one of their nice classic pretty colors. Very, very pretty. And finally, I got a bunch of little items from Victoria's Secret when I, I earned all those secret reward cards. I think I had one, two, three, four, five, six, six um, secret reward cards. Unfortunately, they were all worth $10. Um, so it wasn't really worth using them on a catalog, ordering something online, um, because obviously you have to pay for shipping and you can only use one card per transaction, which is a pain in the butt. Um, and I don't have a Victoria's Secret store that close to me, so I didn't really, I never actually had a chance to go to the store before they expired, um, but I was be, uh, near one, like, I don't know, I had to be in the, I think it was like within a week after they expired, I was at a store, and when I asked if I could still use it, they actually told me yes. Um, and they actually told me I can use them all in one transaction. I just have to have one item per card that's worth at least $10 or more. So that worked out beautifully. I was very happy that I got to use them. And so I just went through all their beauty items and picked out six items and uh, get $10 off of each item, which worked out pretty good. So the first item I got was a body mist um, beyond Glamorous Fragrance Mist, and this is, I guess that is the name of it. Um, very, very pretty, light floral scent. Very nice. Um, I tried out there, actually, I haven't actually tried it out yet, um, because I'm trying to use up the one I have now, but this is some face powder, pressed powder in the color light. Let me just open this here. There's actually two sides to it. One is a matte and one has a shimmer, which you can't really see very well. So I guess you can either use one or the other or just kind of combine it together. Nice and silky smooth. You can't really see too much there, but hopefully this will work out nice. I got two body creams, hydrating body lotion um, right here. And let's see, this one is I Dream of Glamour and I Dream of Passion. And I love these. I use them every night. 
and they're very, very nice and they smell lovely. I'm always on the lookout for some dry shampoo. I've tried a few, um, I think maybe four different ones so far, which I haven't really fell in love with any of one of them yet. So I saw this one there, the Victoria's Secret version. So sexy style, clean and go dry shampoo, instantly absorbs oil and refreshes for any time sexy smile style. Um, I've tried this once or twice and to be honest, it hasn't really wowed me either. So, but I will use it up and uh, move on to the next one. And then finally, I got some Pink Sea Salt Exfoliating Body Polish. Nice big huge container and it's just a body scrub. Very smells divine. Smells like smells like roses. And just use that here and there in the shower. You just uh I, I'm guessing you just kind of smooth it all over your body and then rinse it off and you should be nice and silky smooth afterwards. So I think that is it for now. Um, I think that's enough to last me for quite a while. I need to start using up everything I have. Um, I just recently also went through my bathroom, all like the little drawers and storage spots and tried to get rid of a lot of real old stuff and I rediscovered some items that I um, been kind of saving around and but I need to start using stuff up and stop buying things and that's what I'm going to try to do for the next couple months. Um, so hopefully this is going to be the last haul for a while. Um, I'm sure I will buy something here and there. I don't usually buy too much to begin with but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm hoping to have my January Julep Maven Box video up in the next few days or a week. Um, I totally missed the My Glam Glam Bag Ipsy Bag um, for December. Um, I was a complete fail on filming that and putting that up. I'm sorry. Hopefully I will put something up for January. Um, or maybe I can do like a review of the December items that I got. Um, it wasn't really that exciting. Um, the problem with the Ipsy bags is that they just keep using the same brands over and over and over again. Um, I'm almost getting sick of some of them. So I'm hoping that, um, yeah, they, they got to be like really, really great items and great bags, but now it's starting to get a little stale. Um, so hopefully they will branch out into more brands um, and bring us some more new exciting things. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.